Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. When you connect your iPhone to your Mac, you can use the Finder application to check if your device has been recognized if it appears in the Locations pane. But what if your iPhone doesn't show up in the sidebar because your computer can't recognize it? In this video, I'll recommend the most common solutions to fix the problem that causes your iPhone to not connect to your MacBook as expected. Let's go! For connection issues, a trial and error method that includes eliminating possible problems with either your cable or USB ports is most effective. You can start by using a different cable and plugging it into an extra port on your computer to know if the connection issue is with your cable, your computer, or the phone itself. Remember that the cable must be either MFI certified or original in order to connect and transmit data. Cheap cables are often only good for charging and are commonly the reason your computer can't recognize your device. Also, make sure your iPhone is unlocked. Locked devices also prevent it from being recognized when connected. Another effective way to fix temporary glitches on both your iPhone and your computer is to simply restart them. This will help to update system services and fix any minor bugs that may have caused the problem. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone 10, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. Be sure to restart your computer as well. After rebooting both devices, reconnect your iPhone and check if the problem is resolved. Typically, your iPhone will ask if you trust the computer, especially if you are connecting it for the first time. Be sure to click the Trust button and enter your device passcode to give your computer access to your iPhone. If you clicked the Don't Trust button by mistake, or if you don't see the alert at all, follow the next step. It could also help to reset your network to factory defaults to resolve any issues you might have encountered. To reset your iPhone network settings, open Settings, and navigate to General. Scroll to the bottom, and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Press Reset, and choose the Reset Network Settings option. Then enter your device passcode to confirm the action and start the reset process. Please note that your Wi-Fi passwords, cellular, VPN, and APN settings will be restored to factory defaults. However, you can easily reconfigure them once the reset is done. Also, don't worry, no personal data like photos, contacts, or other files will be deleted from your device. Outdated software features can ultimately cause your devices to fail to connect with each other. Therefore, make sure both your iPhone and computer are running the latest OS version. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches, so it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also, bear in mind that some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. On the other hand, click the Apple menu in the upper left corner of your desktop to check for available updates on your Mac. Go to System Settings, select General in the sidebar, and proceed to Software Update. 
Click the Update Now button to upgrade it if it's available. If you've tried all possible solutions to troubleshoot the issue without success, contact Apple Support as a last resort. They will probably be able to give you more detailed instructions on how to fix whatever is causing the connectivity problem. You can either visit the nearest Apple Service Center or contact them directly via chat or call them on their web platform. To contact them online, open your browser and visit support.apple.com on your iPhone or computer. From the dashboard, browse to the Get Support section and click Start Now. For more personalized support, sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start your request. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.